right here. Hmm. Who's that? Mm -hmm. You did try to. All right. Wes, down by 11. You guys just refused. You put the depleted light up to you. You refused, and you just took the game over. Just tell me about it. What did you feel? You, you had to, you know, some, some, you, know, you guys had to, you had to take it in your hands. Yeah, I know that uh, basketball is a game of runs, and it kind of was like we were uh, frustrated on the defensive end. And I know that eventually we could go on the offensive end. And Boss and a couple of my other teammates got me in good position to make shots that I could make. And I just yeah, played with confidence and just been really aggressive. And we just cut out the lead. <laughs> Can you go over the last shot? Game winner. I mean, you got the ball. There's all kinds of traffic in there. Uh, just uh, who gave you the ball? And then just tell me about the whole sequence. Uh, we ran a, a handoff into a screen, uh, which gave me the opportunity to get downhill. And then from there, I just try to get to the basket. Just maneuvering around defenders. And if somebody was open, I'd have kicked it. But I saw a window to lay the ball up, and that's what I did. I think Boz gave him the ball. Danny set the screen. Right? Yeah. Right, it shows a lot about this team. You know, down by 11 in the second half with a depleted lineup. You guys, a lot of you guys played almost the whole game. I mean, uh, what, what fueled you? What, what kept you going? <clears throat> I mean, we were getting stops in and out the whole game. We knew that we could take it, uh, take, the, take uh, control of the game on the defensive end. So we had to get stops in order to win the game. We got the stops we needed, and uh, Wes came through with a bunch of big buckets. And then we got the last stop at the end. That's what we needed. You know, the thing is, obviously, once, once he starts going off, I mean, obviously, as a, as a point guard, get on the ball, basically. Was that pretty much the mindset there? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's definitely our best scorer on the team. He, uh, he plays really well in pick and roll, and he was finding guys today. He was just, he was our main weapon offensively, and we all kind of just played off of him. How important win is this? Uh, I think it's a really good win. We got another home game coming up, so we're ready to... Get back in the gym tomorrow, prepare to win the next game, and uh, one game at a time. That's our mindset. Trust and believe. Wes, how important what is this? Uh, it's very important. It's a confidence booster. Getting our first winning conference, knowing that we're good enough, and just give us momentum into our next game. Congratulations, Bob. Just, again, gritty win. Down by 11, second half. Yeah, I just thought it was all heart. You know, it was just all heart. We were not playing very well in the second half. They got ahead of us with their offense. And, you know, the, the energy was kind of negative for us because we kept making mistakes. And, and to be honest, that's something I've got to do a better job of, getting our guys kind of out of that funk when things aren't going well. And I looked up with four minutes to go at the last time out. We're down by four. You know, it kind of felt like we were down by 14. Uh, you know, we're down by four. With four minutes to go, we said, let's just get stops. All right, if we, if we get stops on the defensive end, we'll find a way to win. So just incredible heart with, you know, the lineup we have right now, the guys we're missing, the way we were playing in the second half, it would have been easy to fold, and our guys just don't have fold in them. And, you know, Boz is, is all heart. You know, his line is amazing. And ultimately, personnel-wise, you know, we won that game because we have Wes Myers and they don't. You know, Wes made – Huge play after huge play, and uh, yeah, it's willed like us to win. Like uncontested ten foot jumpers, <laughs> <laughs> they all collapsed on him, and you know he was like uh, tiptoeing through a minefield in there. Sometimes West doesn't like the open ones. I haven't I haven't <laughs> figured that out yet. You know, we get him an open one, and he, he ball fakes, and then you know it must be that New York City playground thing. He just he gets in the middle of it, and he finds a way to get to the rim and get to the free throw line. He made huge plays for us tonight. Congratulations, guys. Thanks for taking the time. Thank, Thank you, Larry. Appreciate it. That's Boz. That's Boz. I'm Boz. Okay, I'm saying yeah. Boz. You call him Ryan. We don't I'm know who you're talking that, right? to.